I'm going to show you how to use the built-in screen recording feature on your Pixel 6 as well as the uh, Pixel 6 Pro. So first thing is slide down notifications. So go to the top here, slide down, and then what you want to do is slide down one more time. And now you want to look for screen recorder. Okay, if it's not here, swipe over to the left, and you can see mine is right here, screen record. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap on screen record. Now take note. When you see uh, record audio, go ahead and tap on the little down arrow, okay? And you have choices here, okay? You can do device audio, where basically it's going to record all the sound that's coming out from your phone. You can do only microphone, where it's only going to record you talking over or whatever's in the background. It's not going to record anything coming out of the phone. And if you use device audio and microphone, it's going to record both everything coming out of your phone and you talking over as well as any any noise in your background. Now, if you want to go ahead and mute, if you if you want to go ahead and mute what's ever coming out of your phone and you talking over it, then the only thing you got to do is make sure that this is unchecked. Okay, it doesn't matter. It says device audio as long as this is not toggled on. It doesn't matter where it's at. Okay, as long as that's toggled off, it's going to uh, mute everything. And down here, so touches on screen. This basically shows like a little white. Every time you touch the screen or if you leave your finger on there, it's going to be like a faded white mark so people know exactly where you're going, okay? So let's do a quick example here. So what I'm going to do is under record audio, I'm going to tap down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to re uh, record device audio and microphone, okay? So everything coming out of the phone and me speaking over is going to be recorded. I'm also going to go ahead and leave this show touches on screen. I'll show you what that does. So what we're going to do is click on start here. You're going to get a countdown up here in a little red. Three, two, one. We're recording. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. Let me open up a YouTube video here. And let's go ahead and play one of my videos here. Uh, Thursday the 8th. Testing. Again. One, two, three. You Testing. You know, one, two, three, four, That's five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Check. One, one two. Check, one, two, three, and then if you want to go ahead and stop, we're going to slide down again, and right here, it says stop. Click on stop. Now, every time you save it, it's going to get saved automatically into your Photos app right here. So tap on your Photos app right here. And then top right-hand side, the three horizontal lines, just make sure you tap on it. Make sure it's, it's you tap on Photos, okay? Now, if you look, all your um, screen recording is going to be saved under a new folder called Movies. Okay, so that last one I just recorded right here is 32 seconds. Let me tap on this, and let's go ahead and Testing. play this right here. One, two, three, four, you can see that little white mark right there. Thursday the 8th, Testing. you tap it again. You can see like how many steps you did Testing. and all that information One, two, three, as well. Okay, Testing. the thing is, you, you can, can see that white mark. Clock face. I prefer this default one, it's my favorite. However, if you want to go ahead and change the clock face, and then if you want to go ahead and stop, we're going to slide down again. And right here, it says stop. There you go. I think you guys got the message there. Pretty much everything you need to know. Any questions or issues, comment below. Good luck.